Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have set up the database and we have written the properties in the application or properties file. In this video, we'll map the database columns with the employee model. So go to the employee class and I'm going to annotate this with at entity. And I'm going to annotate this with the at table. And I'll specify the table name. Name is equal to TBL underscore employee. And I'm going to create a few properties. Private integer ID. Private string name. Private string gender private string department private date date of birth i'm going to import this date from sql date sql package now in order to map the database columns with the properties with this uh, employee model class we need to annotate each property with the add column annotation add column which is from java x dot persistence if the property name and the database column name are same then you don't need to specify the name attribute if the property name and the database column name are different then we need to use the name attribute to map the columns in this case both are same then we don't need to specify the name attribute and i'm going to annotate this with a at id since it's a primary key and at generated value strategy is equal to generation type dot identity and I'm going to annotate all the properties with the add column annotation. I'm going to quickly create a setters and getters. Con Alt Shift S, press R and select all and click OK. It will generate all the setters and getters. Let's override the two string as well. Alt Shift S and yes, click OK. It will override the two string method. All right, now our model class is ready. We'll go to the employee DAO. Inside the DAO, we'll create a five methods list, which is of type employee. I'm going to call this get. This will return the employee list and I'm going to import the employee employee this will return the single employee object I'm going to call this get and to this we will pass the employee ID int ID void save this will take employee object as a parameter void delete this will delete the employee object to this we will pass the employee id let's save this in the do implementation let's implement the methods i'm going to annotate this with the at repository And in the DAO, I'll copy the methods and I'll open the employee service and I'll paste it. Let's save this and in the employee service implementation, I'm going to implement the methods and I'm going to annotate this with the at service. All right. Now 
in this service implementation i'm going to annotate at transactional to all the methods make sure you need to import this at transactional from the org dot spring framework dot transactional dot annotation it should not be a java x dot transaction otherwise you will get an exception at runtime copy this and annotate to all the methods all right let's save this and in the DAO implementation I'm going to create a private variable which is an entity manager if you're working with a spring MVC and hibernate in the DAO implementation we are going to inject the session factory to get the current session here we will in JPA we're going to use entity manager to get the current session so private entity manager which is from java x dot persistence i'm going to call this entity manager and i'm going to auto wire this inside this i'll make use of this entity manager and i'll call the unwrap method to this unwrap method we will pass the session class which is from org dot hibernate and this will gives us the current session session dot current session i'm gonna call this current session using this current session i'm going to call a create query method to this query method i'm going to write from employee this employee is nothing but a model class name and in the second parameter we will pass the employee class this will return the employee query so query which is from org.hibernate.query which is of employee I'm gonna call this query now using this query i'm going to call get result list this will gives us the list of employee list which is of employee and i'm going to call this list and i'm going to return this list save this in the service implementation I'm going to call the DAO method. Uh, before that, we need to auto wire the employee DAO. Employee DAO. I'm going to call this employee DAO. And I'm going to auto wire this. And I'll make this private. All right, inside the get method i'll make use of this employee dao and i'm going to call the get method we have two methods and uh, i'll make use of the first one which will uh, return the list of employees i'm going to return it to controller save this and i'll open the controller class all right in the next video we are going to write a controller class and we are going to test our application that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.